Hey DIYers, Jarrett with Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to talk about how you can find the revision number on your Honeywell L5210. Um, now you can find the revision number on your Honeywell L5210 by accessing the system test menu that's inside of the master tools menu. Now in order to um, be able to access either of these menus, you will, you will need the master code for that system. Uh, now the default master code for the Honeywell Lynx Touch panels or the L5210 um, is 1234. Now it is recommended that you always change that code anyway, so more than likely the code has been changed. Now for this video, um, we don't have an L5210, but we're going to be showing this on the L7000. Um, the L7000 is just it's basically the same exact thing as the L5210, it's just the screen is bigger, um, but the settings to be able to find everything is exactly the same. So the revision number for your Honeywell Lynx touch panel is very important when it comes to the compatibility of certain devices or communicators. For example, there are certain communicators that um, do require a certain revision number in order to be compatible or to have the system be compatible with those devices. Um, for instance, the L5100 Wi-Fi. If you have a newer L5100 Wi-Fi uh, communicator, uh, the revision number on the system needs to be eight or higher in order to be compatible with that. Um, now, if you wanted to use LTE cellular for the um, Honeywell L5210 or the Lynx Touch systems, um, the LTE communicators like the L LTE L57V, which is the Verizon LTE version, and the LTE L57A, which is the AT&T version, or AT&T LTE version, um, those communicators require revision nine or higher to be for, uh, for the system to be compatible with those communicators. So you definitely wanna keep that in mind um, when you're looking at certain equipment and stuff like that to make sure um, that your revision is up to date to be able to, to, to use uh, those devices. So if by any chance you had to um, update the firmware version on your Honeywell Lynx Touch system, um, you are able to by using the Honeywell uh, Lynx Touch MSD firmware updater tool. Um, there is a link in the description for this video uh, for the updated tool, so you can check that out. Um, this device will allow you to update the firmware version for your system. Um, it is very simple, and if you wanted some instructions or, some, or a guide to be able to update the system. Uh, there's also gonna be a link in the video as well or in the description uh, to be able to show you how to do that. Now, if you wanted to find uh, the revision for your Lynx Touch system or the L5210, what you'll do is on the main screen, uh, you're gonna tap security and then you're gonna go to more at the bottom right and you're gonna uh, tap tools and this is where you're going to type in the master code. So the default master code is one, two, three, four. You're gonna tap on test. And on the top right, you'll see um, sw.rev, and then you'll see um, 09.00209. Um, this is the revision number for your system, the firmware version for it. Um, now, right now our L7000 is on the highest firmware version currently, but um, Depending on what your system it is, it, or depending on what your system is on, it's going to be showing up here. Now, once you've confirmed um, the revision number for the system, you'll just hit the back arrow until you go all the way back to the main screen. And that is how you find the revision number on your L5210 or your Honeywell Lynx Touch system. If you have any further questions about the Honeywell Lynx Touch systems or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you want notifications on future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jared with Alarm Grid. You have yourself a great day.